What's up, my beautiful legends? I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Let's get that music rocking and uh, let's get our boys in the back in here. So uh, let's run this clip and uh, let's get them in. Timing was off, but uh, still works. How you fellas doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, you. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you guys chilling? Has it felt like a weird week to you or a weird weekend? I felt really yeah. kind of just out, out of it all week. I felt real lazy. Uh, I, I didn't have, have too much to do, you know, work every day. And other than that, man, I just, it's been a, kind of a lack of motivation. But uh, it's not, not necessarily a bad thing. But just kind of, yeah. I think it was the time change, bro. Ever since the time change, I've been feeling super, like, blah. So, uh, time change, yeah. season change. Yeah, bro, dude, I had, man, I live in Ohio, right? So today it was like sunny in the morning, and then it was like 30, 40 mile an hour winds in the afternoon. And then for like five or 10 minutes, it was just like dumping snow, huge snowflakes. And like they were melting before they even hit the ground. And then like five minutes after it was, you know, dumping snow, it was sunny, birds were out, chirping, it was 40 degrees. Damn. Yeah, that's the transition lot. period. Man, I hope so. So, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the legends in the chat. Lush Kusha's checking in bright and early. My man, always right in there. A new dude, Spoofer, Maddox. Appreciate you for checking out the live. And uh, he's not part of the comic book community, but uh, conveniently enough, dropping hot dogs in chat. I'm sure you guys fit right in, dude. He's a younger dude, but uh, he's been kicking it on the shorts, and then uh, he's been kicking it on the long form. So I appreciate it. Uh, DJ, the God, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day, my man. Lady Durs, beautiful, gorgeous Lady Durs. Uh, I was trying to get her to put her Legos together, but same, man. She worked today, so she's being a little busy. Uh, Scotty, my man, if you want to hop on, you got the link. If not, just kick back. I appreciate your time. He's going to be one of the first shout outs. We got Canadian Survivalist. How are you doing, my dude? Hopefully you're having a beautiful day. And then Robert Springs, how are you doing? I know Bleaker was streaming for like seven or eight hours, so I see a couple of you guys jumping in there from there. I appreciate it. I know K-Pop Junkie is also live at six. So if you want to check it out, I appreciate that as well. Wellborn, how are you doing? Appreciate you. So let's just, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's, uh, sh let's shout the boys out. Shut the boys out. Share the screen. Boom. Always start with the man that brought me into the community, that got me to do YouTube, that uh, he's the first one I met. I always got to recognize that. Scott Vaughn, 82. Uh, so I always highlight his comic book, Addicts. It looks like he, he's having a return guest, and it is uh, episode 61, special guest Sonia Saturday, and it's an April Fool's birthday show. So uh, that's going to be dope. All right. Wait. I'm low. I, I don't know why that's first on his thing. That's weird. You see that? Why is that first? Tomorrow's K-Pop Junkie. I don't know why YouTube's got it lined up like that. But uh, yeah, tomorrow's K-Pop Junkie, then Trish Forstner, then Sonya Saturday. That's weird. So uh, shout out to YouTube. Get your own uh, lineup fixed because it should be the other way around. So next guy we're going to e share. Sitting on the... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, she's awesome. She's wild. Her, fir her first interview was dope. She's an awesome character. Uh, he's sitting on the panel, but Trev, uh, I just want to recognize your time for always hanging out with me. And I like to kind of browse through my subscriber list and see who's at Milestones. I know you don't care about it, and I know you are uh, it's not a big deal to you. But, uh, man, pushing that 5K, dude. You're a legend. You're doing your thing. Uh, I love you to death, and I always appreciate your time. And uh, Heroes Con, baby, I can't wait to meet you, bro. Same thing with Tony. Oh, yeah. Same. And wait. then, uh, lastly... Caffeine Comics Man, uh, I know he's feeling a little under the weather. He had, uh, he's had some heart issues, so he had a heart monitor. So I just wanted to make a big shout out to him. Uh, his daily comic book and collectible show used to be my morning tradition for like a year and a half. And with my new job, uh, I can't watch it. It's just, I'm at work. So uh, it's really hard to watch his content. But uh, I just wanted to let you know I love you, man. I hope you're doing good. Rest and relax. And uh, I hope all is well. So thank you. Damn. Rose, Ooh, I almost closed out of Streamyard, man. It would have been an absolute disaster. Ooh. So uh, let's get back to the chat. Get back to the chat. I'll drop off the chat in a second. Becker, man, my guy. How you doing? 
Uh, fellow, fellow Chiefs lover, I know you have a close on that. Zach's Collections, he just went live. He did a test stream, and uh, it was great, bro. So if you're going to do your Jink Pack uh, Thursdays live, that'd be dope. Everything sounded good. You looked good. You had good control of StreamYard, and if you ever want to hop on the sesh, bro, you're more than welcome. Just going to check up with chat. John, how you doing, man? He was blown up Instagram with all those storm uh, those storm posts today. Uh, and if you like storm, read all yeah. the Black Panther too. just a little tip. Hi, man. How you doing? Oh, okay, yep, Miss Bennett, but uh, Black Crown, Black Crown Comics. Uh, he slept in a little early and he didn't shoot me his thumbnail, but he's part of that Sunday lineup as well. He'll be going live at nine tonight. So make sure you guys check him out. Don't want to miss not a single person. KBDM, how you doing? How you doing? Paul, Spawn Bro, big congrats. Happy St. Patty's Day. Big congrats on the Spawn LCS variant, man. Tempted. It's it's tempting me to get one, but uh, Heroes Con, I gotta stay. I gotta stay. Yeah, I gotta stay focused. So uh, let me pull up chat. How you guys doing? Doing good. Yeah. Anything exciting happened this week or weekend? Did you do anything for St. Patty's Day? Did you guys party? Were you guys out till five in the morning, drinking, no. getting trash? No. Uh, I'll, I'll have a glass of Jameson later. Uh-huh. Uh, I did go to Mc- I did go to McDonald's today for some lunch, and uh, their Shamrock Shakes are sold out. So I was wow. Upset. Yeah, I was I was pretty upset about that. I was actually surprised. This was the first year my wife didn't go get one. She usually gets one every year. Yo, I yeah, I was going to get one, and like I said, sold out. I wasn't really messing with the McFlurry, so I went with a caramel Sunday. So hang on, I'm gonna drop that link in chat. Get that pin for you guys. I, I was just case I think it was possible to sell out of a shake, but okay. <laughs> Question for you guys: How caught up on you and Halo? I'm not. I'm about three or four episodes behind. All, All right, Trev. All the way? Okay. Yep. That works for me. Love that. So plug your ears, Tony, because no, this I'm, last episode, it's good, it's good. <laughs> uh, this last episode, I'm going to kind of nerd out about. As a Halo fan, as a geek, uh, shout out to Doc's card, shout out to Joseph. Uh, how you guys doing? As a geek and as a gamer, this was the first episode that made me jump out of my couch and was like the meme with the Leonardo DiCaprio. He's like, oh, 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 from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. That was me in this episode. So the one, my only gripe I have about Halo is it tries to tell too many stories. And it's got a lot of characters going. It's bouncing around a lot. And it's not necessarily a downside, but it slows what you want to see. As soon as you know you get through a scene with one character, you uh, you get slowed down. Joseph, gonna I'm gonna count on you tonight to stay on track. I'm counting on you. Trust involved. Much appreciated. You, have you watched Halo? Are you caught up or anything? Are you watching? Uh, I'm, I just started season two. Okay. I just started season two because I was out of town uh, this weekend helping my brother, my older brother, move some stuff for a, his company. Nice, the company. So, uh, and uh, part of the part of that, there's some good stuff in here that I picked up from a local place nice, that they had was uh, like an indoor flea market kind of thing. But it was like, it's got its own comic shop there and everything. And it was just like, dang. Those are always the best. So we'll save that for later after our cover theme. But uh, Halo, like I said, the newest episode, uh, like I said, it's it's a little all over the place. It starts where they're right on Halo. So it was a great scene. But man, at one point during the episode, you see them unlock a door. And as soon as they unlock this door, I was that was my moment of the Leonardo DiCaprio. I was like, that's a light bridge. That's the same type of forerunner door from the games. Because like I said, they were in a cave, but it was like an ancient cave with a bunch of carvings on the wall. And there was a bunch of stars, you know, projected in the room. So when they opened this door, I was like, okay, now this is like really video game aspect. So when they go into, you know, they walk across the light bridge, they go into this room, uh, uh, Halsey re- uh, refers to the room as a library. And if you're a fan of Halo, you know in Halo 2, the first time you ever see the Flood, that mission is called the library. So it's a huge Flood reference because in, because basically in Halo, the Forerunners will take the DNA from every living creature 
store them in a, in a forerunner like a library like that so when the halos go off and destroy every organism every creature in, in the galaxy the forerunner can you know make life again it's it's they're like gods in the halo universe so they stumble across this and actually see a forerunner who's clutching something we don't know what it is it opens at the end but we still don't know what it is and again this is the penultimate episode so there's one episode left so next week is going to be absolutely off the chain but just hearing that reference of the library and the flood i was just like man this is going to be absolutely crazy if they go down this route and uh in the, the space battles and master chief finally getting its suit back it's, it's, it was such a good episode trev do you know anything about the games no. okay so so like i said bro the little green guys, the little squiggly green guys, if you've ever seen them, where they take over you, it's basically the parasite. That's what the rings are for, is these parasites, if they ever get released, they just take over galaxies and universes. They're like a spore that grows on you. The halos go off. They erase all existence, all plants, creatures, whatever. And then the forerunners basically just rebuild. So that was our first like notion in the show of the flood, we're hoping. And like I said, man, uh, I think the final episode is going to be crazy. I think Master Chief could die in the show. I could see him dying. I don't know if it's going to get a third season or not, but I could see them. I could see something crazy happening. What's up, Indo Nerd? How you doing? Make sure you screenshot Trev while he's frozen. Oh, yeah, I'm froze. Too late. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's dope. It's dope. The uh, have they shown them yet? We just seen a dead one in the latest episode. Oh, it was a dead forerunner, like all curled up, like holding like a little device. Like me, three o'clock in the morning, you know, in bed clutching my puff bar while I'm sleeping. That's what the that's what the forerunner looked like. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Yeah, they're just cuddling my face in the middle of the night looking for it. That's what the forerunner looked like. <laughs> But yeah, we're it's it's crazy. And uh, as as they were leaving, because it's a light bridge, you know, it extends. And uh, as they were going, she takes the item and they run out. You see, like a forerunner, like city or monuments. It just expands in the distance. So like, it was definitely an illuminating episode. I would say definitely different. Definitely expanded the because we haven't seen the forerunners really in the game besides Halo Infinite. That's when they first touched on the Forerunner. They're on a Forerunner home planet. And you just see them because the Forerunners have been gone for millions of years. So we'll see, man. I think it's going to be crazy. I think episode... Yeah, the last they episode up in, then they showed up in now. Halo 4 and 5. They were right. in Halo 4 well, and 5. Five, 5 was the Prometheans. It wasn't the Forerunners. It was, it was oh, the Prometheans. Okay, Promethean. Those were the Prometheans. Because... Because the forerunners are always talked about, but you've never really seen them. And then uh, the other ones were uh, the prophets, is what you were talking about. Those weren't forerunners. Forerunners are like huge aliens, basically. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. And they basically they're like the gods. They basically created everything. So that's what it is in the Halo universe. Boom. Moving on. If you're not a Halo fan, I definitely recommend watching it. Um, what do we want to go into next? Let's, uh, what's today? I'm, I'm not I'm wearing green. Who's not wearing green? Trev, is that a green shirt? Oh, man, I'll pinch you through this. I'll pinch you through this laptop, bro. Uh, have you guys ever seen the leprechaun? You guys ever seen the See that? The buckles on my shoes? Why, I have a leprechaun. <laughs> the only one. And like I said, I got a couple more clips. And the only one that matters is leprechaun in the hood. And uh, Leprechaun in Space is fire too, bro. I love them. But uh, let, let's, let's do that. Hey. Man, you gotta hit him with that Irish jig all the way through there, bro. So uh, let's, see, uh, let's see who the fate of StreamYard puts first. It's gonna be Tony. Don't oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I know, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, hang on. Light that cigarette, bro. I'll light that cigarette. I got you. I got you. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. You want to see? Okay. Public service. Yeah. Maybe. Public service. 
Uh, so we're going to start off with some indies. I'm going to start off with Canto. I was nice. really pumped to see that uh, when I was checking my pull box, the last series is fixing to start, and it's going to be done by Dark Horse. So I'm looking forward to reading the nice. finale Didn't of this know. series. Another favorite series of mine, we got Fright Night. Nice. I've never read Canto. It's really good. It's really good. Um, I, I started reading it because of uh, Bullseye Bob. Oh. Pull some aliens from my collection. Nice. I like that. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Bring that closer. Bring that, bring that cover closer. What is he? Oh, he's definitely uh, squirting in that mouth. It's a, it's a kiss cover. <laughs> oh, oh, it's definitely a kiss cover. cover. Here's, here's an almost kiss cover. Oh, I like that too. That's pretty sick. I like that. What's up? Then I, you, I did this. this. Chris? This is an incentive I variant it. for... I this is an incentive variant for win number six. Nice, John. I got a what book's that? It's wind. It's uh, what a team oh, is. Uh, series. That's another book I keep seeing. I keep hearing about. I've never read or had never really even checked into. It's actually pretty cool. This is the, the wind, and this was probably the only modern books I'm going to have. But I had to throw some uh, fire in there. Nice, nice. What's up, psychedelic. Going back to another favorite. V. Nice. And I could not not put this one in here. Nice. Oh, yes, sir. What's up, TW, yeah. my man? I'm going to show this cover. If you know, you know. It is nice. controversial. Speaking of Green Lantern, Green Lantern is fire right now. I can't believe how good that is. Well, I was, gonna, I was just going to say something was left in the fridge for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about. I just started. I'm eight issues into the first time ever reading Green Lantern. So, <laughs> you got this classic green cover. <laughs> Ooh, poison ivy. That's cool. Yeah, that was dope. And we always talk about Vengeance of Bane. Since this is a green cover, let's talk about Vengeance of Bane too. Nice. That's a dope. It's one like an homage to the first one, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, you can actually put the up, put them side by side, and they're facing each other. It's pretty cool. That's sick. Uh, DC Marvel All Access. Had to throw that in there. I thought that was just a really cool cover. And possibly one of the greatest, one of the best uh, team up or team ups, whatever you want to call it. Nice. Yeah. nice. Where's the green? Well, it's green where I'm looking at it. Where? Uh, all this. Oh, all that's green? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. It's like I'll give it to green. You. Yeah, sorry. It just the fr at the first glance, it looked blue. Got some GI Joe featuring the first appearance of Sergeant Slaughter, and right, at, and there's some green there. No, oh, it's not a shameless. Way. It's never a sh just real quick. It's never a shameless plug ch on my channel. I call it pouring yourself out and feel free to do it as much as you want, man. Plen there's plenty of pouring to be had on this channel, so make sure you hit that link and. Uh, yeah, man, he is selling some big boy books, so uh, help him out if you're interested on Instagram. Drop that link. All right. Got some classic Spider-Man. Bondage cover. Yep. Wolverine number four. Yes. Six. The Return of Thanos. Good job. That's and lastly... Cover too. I should have made... Huh? Go ahead. Nothing. I was going to say about I'm, I'm talking to myself. Last, my last one is my favorite Spider-Man solo issue story of all time. The kid that collects Spider-Man. Man. Hang on, bring it back. Some of these covers are the first time I'm seeing them, so I got to... The kid. The little boy on the front. Like, who's... Yeah. So, Spider-Man's in the back. Whose hand's on his shoulder? Well, he's, 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 he's hanging up a picture of Spider-Man. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now I get it. Because he yeah. has the, he he has the don't do don't touch me in my no no square look on his face. <laughs> got startled from behind, yeah, bro. Tony, yeah, that kind of that kind of look. It, like I said, a lot of these books are the. That's why I do these covers because they're the first time I've seen them. And like that one, he just kind of had that look of like, oh, I'm gonna tell you, 
if you've never read it, you got to read it. It's a great story. That's what I was going to say. Is that the issue with the, the kid that's dying? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. They bro. did that. They did a story arc on that on the Spider Man animated series. Yes, they did. Yeah, we got some poorly yeah. goodness. Nice. I almost pulled that one, so same. That's an ultimate two. Oh, man, that is sweet. Is that from the newest run? No. Oh, what, this, one? Is, uh, this is the 90s. That's a fire. Not the early 2000s. That's fire. Love that. Shout out to Scotty Vaughn if he's watching. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Got some classic pit. Nice. Yeah. Image for life. Dale Kion. So, Lady Phantom and Doll Man. Not familiar with Lady Phantom. You got some Future State. You got some Jace. Future State Batman. That's dope. All you had to say was uh, Jeff Johns, John, and uh, I'm in. Ghost Machine, baby. And we got some uh, John Stewart, Future State. That's dope. Did they do a bunch of covers like that? Yeah, these yeah. are the design variants. Nice. Every single book did them. If you want to collect those, there's like 30 or 40 of them. Not got fun. Got fun in there. Yes, sir. I almost pulled that one, but pulled a different one. So poison Ivy. That is beautiful. Nice. Better bring that uh, Heroes Con, bro. Yeah, right. I'm trying to decide what to bring. Man. She's bring them all for free. Five for free. Yeah, That's bring them. Bring them all, bro. Bring them all. <laughs> Do them bring like like bring five and visit her one day and then go visit her the next day. That's seriously what you can do. That is sick. Nice. He'll be there as well. Of course, some John Stewart. Uh, yeah, we uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any updated stickers because you need uh, one of my new stickers. So uh, hit me up on IG, brother. Some Eclipso. I'm not familiar with that, but that looks dope. That was a very good storyline that he did in the annuals. That's TM Nerdy's favorite character besides uh, Animal Man. Really? Nice. Yeah. Fire. And Parallax. Mm -hmm. And a couple more. Got the first Kyle Rainier. There we go. Nice. nice. And first Yara. Oh, wow. Ooh. <sighs> Interesting play. <laughs> <laughs> they really need to do more with that character. Love that character. <laughs> what, or Yara Flora? Yeah, Yara Flora. Yeah, uh, that's Wonder Woman's daughter, right? No, she's just an Amazon. Oh, just an Amazon. Uh, 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 Trinity is just is Wonder Woman's daughter, right? Trinity, right. yeah, cool. DC, kind of know it. <laughs> Joseph, did you pull ten or fifteen green books just now? Uh, <laughs> whatever I got. Okay, for sure. You can go next. Also, like you I just, said, ten, keep us ten or fifteen. Did you just enter the yes, military? Sir, I, got <laughs> I got that as well. Five cover, bro. Yo, Joe, yo, Joe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. What is nice. Uh oh. What happened here? There we go. There you go. Yeah. I'm a sucker for white, just white backgrounds like that, too. Yeah. Nice. You can't have green without the Ninja Turtles. Is that the IDW one of the new free ones? Because I got I got one of the ones that's black, white, and green. It's all yeah, the covers it's I, white and green. Yeah, IDW twenty five years. Yeah. IDW monthly title catalog for February. Yep, I got the here. You just keep showing books. I'll show mine. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Mm 
Yep. Set. There you go. Nice. 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 Yep. Got that Ooh, one. Ooh. And the next one, both from nice. Mark. Nice. Fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. Won those in his giveaway. Then the Aquaman movie prequel story thing. Dude, the video game's fire, bro. Doom's fire as well. There you go, Devastator. Yeah, getting blown to bits. <laughs> Remember, 10 to 15. I had to recount mine just to make sure. <laughs> okay. And. Ooh, yes, sir. Bro, I could have broke out so many spawn books because every spawn book has green spawn, but I wanted to try and get <laughs> know, right? I'm trying to be trying to have a higher standard for myself for you, Trav. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Appreciate> <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 the whole ahead. thing from Sector. Perfect, bro. During his giveaway. I stayed away from spawn because I knew Dares would be showing off some spawn. Just a couple, man. Like I said, they all they all have green on them, so uh, I couldn't get one with any. How many has that been? I think it's been about 15. Pick oh, one last more. One. Last one. Like I said. Like I said, strictly ten to fifteen. So that way. Well, we I had to show the whole set. So. Is that uh, those connecting covers? Yep, they are all the connecting oh, you covers. Oh, uh, get get like uh, comic capsules or something, or like a comic book frame. That'd be dope to have those all up like that. Oh yeah, so. yeah, that's what I was planning to do. Right. So, so uh, this one was what I meant, Joseph. This is the there one I got. Go. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I saw that one at that guy's, that guy's shop, and he wants 50 bucks for it. You're kidding. I'm not I got kidding. This, he had I got 50 this bucks on it. Uh, I don't resell books, but I got it for free. Shout out uh, ABX Comics and Games. <laughs> uh, yeah, I even got here. We even got this. Shout out, shout out to the legend themselves. Boom. ABX Comics and Games. My online LCS, which... Uh, which I had a little heartbreak today. They uh, posted the 1 in 25. They're like, hey, 1 in 25, Godzilla. You know, they always post all the books they have in, but some of them I already claimed. It was the 1 in 25, Justice League versus Khan versus Godzilla. And I messaged Paul and I was like, hey, am I able to get that? And uh, he's like, oh, no, sorry, it's already claimed. Uh, and I was like, cool. And then me and Mark were talking this morning. And I just happened, I was like, hey, random side, side note. Were you the one that got that Dana Warren Johnson Godzilla? And he's like, yeah, dude, I've had that whole set pre-ordered since the beginning. I was like, you bastard. <laughs> Virgin Spawn. See, tried to go with like no no late logo, just green. And then uh, tried to pick one where the logo was green and then it was just white with the green. You know, like I said, higher standard. And that was it for Spawn. That was Whoa. really it. Boom. My guy, Geiger, if you ain't reading that, man, you better be reading that. Boom. First appearance of Redcoat. <laughs> Taylor Winter. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, man, I didn't really have any super green, but this one counts. Uh, the greenest of the green, Godzilla. But uh, he's oh, green. Nice. Green and pink. pretty sick, Godzilla. I like that one. Yeah, dude. That, uh, that, that one's fire. And uh, shout out to Cat Fan. I'd know he'd like this cover. Oh, yeah. I knew somebody would be showing it. What about this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, big shout out to Bobby DeLaghetto. Caught you at the end of uh, Bleaker Streams showing off some uh, cool sketches, man. Walk 29, man. Ooh. And then uh, just some more. But this one's a dope cover. That is nice. And then uh, I'm Gleason, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Like I said, dude, this run, this series, phenomenal. Not even the best. De this Green Lantern run is better than some of the Spawn books I'm reading. And I, I, like I said, dude, so good. It's so good. I can't say enough about that book. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jane Gang just uh scored his transformers today and uh that's the one of the books i'm going to be taking to heroes con i'm going to get that sketched up or remarked or something there we knew this, yes knew this was coming trev and yeah, it's yeah. signed 
down there in the green. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah. All right. love that cover. Oh, nice. It's a great cover. And then, uh, we'll just to transition to, uh, I don't have the slides yet or anything. Uh, D DJ's going to shoot me on, so that way we can promote C3 and stuff. But uh, I am a member of the CDC Award Committee, but I do want to start promoting that and sharing it. I do have a video to play. But the biggest thing for me, I'm going to say this year, just spread, spread, spread the word. And at the end of the day, just vote for somebody else. Uh, I, I would love for that attention and that spotlight to be on just other channels. It's a little bit added weight and stress on my end. You know, I got to make extra videos for it. I have to do stuff like that. And I just want others. So my whole thing is I'm campaigning for the awards itself to promote, make it bigger because it's amazing for the community. And at the end of the day, uh, if you're going to vote for me, uh, just vote for somebody else. I, me, Trev, Tony, a lot of us, Scotty, we were all nominated. We we're finalists, you know, that first year. That's good enough for me, bro. I'm totally cool and content with that. So uh, on that note, I do have a little video courtesy of Brian. So let's uh, share it if it lets me. Boom. There she is. And uh, I, I started promoting it way late. Same thing with counter skin cancer. So uh, I think I can just be better. And, you know, the biggest thing, the easiest thing, the cheapest and freest thing to do is, uh, you know, just support it. So, Brian, feel free to drop that Instagram link as well. That way people can follow you there. And then next week I'll have uh, C3 slides, counter securing cancer slides, all the information to go along with that. So uh, sorry if it gets repetitive, but I'm just going to start showing it in my videos. I'm going to start showing it on my live streams and, uh, you know, just kind of promoting that some more and more. So uh, I know Joseph had a pretty thick boy haul. Trev, you got new stuff? Tony, you got new stuff? I got a oh, few yeah. new things. Well, I was going to say, I could show you some of the stuff I showed last night. Just nice. The new, just the new stuff. So I like, I like to call this covering our audience because uh not everybody watches you know not everybody will watch, watch a live stream some people will watch other people's live streams and maybe not mine uh some people might not watch all my videos or instagram posts or something so it's just a good way to uh, you know especially the books that are like my favorite you know a couple of these books you guys have seen on my fantastic con haul which, by the way, thank you for anybody watching that. It's getting great traction. And you guys might have seen this on Tony's stream, but like I said, I like to cover my audience. And at the end of the day, if I don't watch your content and you don't watch my content, we all love each other. And that's the beauty of this community. So uh, I'm just going to just uh, let's let it ride. Joseph, let me see that big boy stack. Okay. Part of it got taken up, taken down, so I have to do this again. Okay. No repeats. <laughs> I got that too. So <laughs> three must haves. I got that right. and the Ninja Turtle one, the IDW one there and stuff for free because the guy was just giving them out and stuff. And then I got that. Nice. Nice. Got Void Rivals issue six. Now I just need five and seven. Nice. Catwoman, that's from Mark. Dope. And I, I like you that. got this cover, Adam. Here, I got a, just for that, bro, I got you. I got a new slide just for you. I can't believe those two are going to have to team up in this movie next week. Oh, it's going to be so fire. I can't wait. Did you get got, all those? Yeah. What I got, moves? these were a dollar a piece. Okay, well, I thought, I thought they just recently came out. Correct me if I'm wrong, Trev, but I thought recently they did a whole thing where... A whole bunch of those. They did. Okay. They did. Okay. These are the originals. Okay, got yeah. you. Got you, got you. These are the originals. The guy was asking a dollar a piece. Got you. Got that one. And that mm. one. What's cool about those die cuts, you tear off the front cover and it's a virgin cover underneath. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. that's what I kind of like those. Then I got that one, which I already showed you guys. 
Then I got Transformers issue. Which one was this one? Five? Yeah, number five. You wait, bro. Wait till the next, you read number six. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fire. Then I got the fourth issue of The Predator versus Wolverine. So now I just need nice. issue two. Nice. And of course, the yes, spawn, sir, man. which I think he said this was cover C. Uh, it's a Todd McFarlane cover, so maybe. He said it was co- he said it was cover C, and I'm not I sure. Said- there's six. There's six of them. I got all of them except the LCS variant. I even got the Virgin White bo- or Black and White one. But that's the Todd McFarlane cover. I know that for sure. Oh yeah, and then the other ones from the stack were uh, what I got from Mark and uh, Paul from Sector. There, you already yeah, saw you the connection this. covers for all that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that man. And, I was there that night. Yeah. And, and if you don't later. know, if you don't know where you can win this stuff, make sure you follow Paul uh, Sector uh, two eight two eight. Oh my God, I'm so bad at DC. Twenty eight fifteen. One five. Yeah, twenty eight fifteen. I'm so bad at DC because I knew it was two eight one three or one four was our sector. But yeah, make sure you guys go check him out. Him and Mark are live every other uh, Tuesday. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so bad at remembering things, dude. <laughs> you no, know, yeah, it's it's, on, it's honestly because of because of things like that. Yeah, the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, make you a little awesome. forgetful, bro. <laughs> these were, like I said, these were a dollar a piece. Nice. nice. You never pass that up. <laughs> that's the it, that's the very first annual. Nice. Yep. Wow. Nice. Then that one. Is that how you bag and board all your books? Yep. Oh, no. Oh. He, this is how he bagged them. Okay. I got to get some bag and boards. Okay. I was going to was going to say, no, no. <laughs> no my he, bagged, he bagged a lot of these together like that and stuff. And that's why when know, he said they were a dollar, he people, had to, I know some people them do to that. make sure how many is in there. Right. I used to, but I got I quit doing that a long time ago. Yeah, good choice. And Web of Spider Man here. This is when he still got the black suit on. Nice. Mm-hmm. The, the symbiote. Now, this is before the Venom stuff took place. And these. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's get that out of there. Get that he, junk he, off. He the DC me for free. I asked him. I no, said, that's about the words, bro. And he said. This was, the, and I will quote this right now. This is what he said. He said this was the bullshit story Marvel <laughs> and the Spider-Man team have ever come up with. It's it's what it's what killed my love. Like I, I read Spider-Man when I got back into comics for like a year and a half, two years up until that point. And as soon as that whole thing happened, I haven't touched the main run of Spider-Man since. Yeah, because those so blank covers all, though. I got. Really? Now there's a cover inside of it. Yeah, it's oh, it's, it's a spoiler variant. It's just the black. Oh, but but yeah, I think you could, I think you could use those as blank covers. Well, I'm gonna I'm keeping one for myself for collectability purposes. The other two I'm gonna put maybe in some giveaway stuff. Do it. And we'll go from there. <laughs> It'll be great as uh, extra padding for the box. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> just throw it in the bottom of the box. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Trav, did you have some new stuff? Yeah, I got some stuff to show. Ooh, nice. let me see. Let me see. Got a nice haul from Nick's Kicks and Comics. Ooh, go that first. A couple of Dr. Afro I needed. Ashley Witter covers. Oh, uh, nice. And real quickly, you can uh, get these from, uh, the, I'm assuming you got these from Nick's Kicks and Comics sales on Instagram, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, some great deals. I was perusing that myself. But like I said, man, I'm trying to stay strong for Heroes God. Yeah. <laughs> then we got some new 52 Batman. Core Pals. Number two. Number three. Nice. I'm c- currently reading through that in trade form. Four. And five. <laughs> nice. Favorite Batman read. Ever. And we got yeah. some Academy fillers. Man, I'm not, that's another story I've never read, man. It's so good. Three. 
Yeah, everybody says great Bunch things about nonsense. it. Mm -hmm. Basically, Harry Potter in the modern in the Marvel. That's movie. what a lot a lot of people have referred it to, but it sounds cool. Covers are dope. Almost have the entire run now. That's uh, Scotty Young wrote that, right? Yeah. I yeah. So. Yep. Almost forgot. I haven't read it in a while. It's mm -hmm. been done for. Picked up this poly bagged special. Ooh, that's, the dope. Movie. Oh, wow. that's cool. I like oh, that. Yeah, Wizard Magazine. Mm -hmm. I used to get that Wizard monthly in the mail all the time when I was a kid. Dude, I wish I still had them all. <laughs> yes, I'll see you right. Nice. It's a weird cover. It but is. I, it's like it's I that Thank you. Roberto nice. Ramos, yes. He does that That's his cool. art is perfect for kids. I definitely need to check it out and trade. Found Ooh. this for a dollar. Rip the shadow. Ooh, nice. Number 14. The thing that creeps. <laughs> We got a wedding that went wrong. Starfire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we got Bruce Banner and Betty Ross's wedding. Oh, nice. She looks like a freaking nun. I was going to say, yeah. Mother Teresa vibes. I had this up. Uh, this cover is freaky. That's wild. Oh, nice. Like, uh, he's, uh, uh, like, what was that? What, what movie did somebody get? Uh, uh, Multiverse. Mr. Strange. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Mr. Fantastic got turned into that. Yeah. Wow. So four Star Spectacular, number one. Not familiar with that, but I see uh, a lot of characters on it. Yeah, they used to do these and have, like, this one's got four different uh, stories in there. Yeah. Nice. We're reading the Dark Tower on my channel, doing review every other Saturday. So I'm uh, really getting Scotty Young. Gunslinger. That's uh, uh there's a comic series for that book too? Oh yeah. Oh uh, there's 19 comic series from the Dark Tower. Really? Yeah, most of them are like six issues. But huh. they're all the cast in between the novels. Hmm, did not know that. It also well this off. I've shown this off so many times, but haven't shown them off on your channel yet. Izzy verse sketch. Oh, you're freezing up a little bit. Can't see it. Take a screenshot while you can. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, oh. There it is. Nice. Oh, that that deserves. That deserves. fire so fire yeah it's a great great deal by the way from Izzy. i hit him up and i was like hey man what what's what's the price like everything all in because izzy is a cgc certified artist now so uh yeah hey man hit him up if you want something done Ooh. is that what you got bro yeah no, you're 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 just uh, chirping in and out, but don't worry, I got Tony. Oh, on. One second, one oh, second. All right, okay. Hang on. Uh, oh. Ackerman's still here. We got my favorite football player of all time, Derek Thomas. Nice. This is a PSA really? nine. It's uh, number two hundred. My boss got this for working at work for five years. Nice, but, uh, dude. Can't really see it, but it's number twenty-seven, which is my favorite number. Nice. It's also my birthday. Yeah. So. Speaking of football, man, it is absolutely wild. I'm not even going to get into it because it's too much. But uh, family, our off season has been wild so far. Tony, <laughs> what cool stuff we got? All right, so we're going to start off with some packs I got from Five Below future content. Nice. There you go. All right, I got four books from my LCS and the rest of it. I'm going to show a little bit of what I picked up at the con last weekend. Because I don't want Durs to keep, uh, ban me for showing, trying to show everything. <laughs> we got House of Slaughter. You know, I got the Ash Can. I got this one. They were the same book. So, might as well. Ready. 
Really love this. This was really great. I'm not a regular reader we, of Black Panther. We forgot, I love this. we forgot to talk backstage about it, but uh, yeah, it was it was great. I, it was uh, like I said, I, I reviewed it last night. I gave it a seven out of ten. Uh, great surprise at the end. My guy, who 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 showed up? But yeah, dude, I'm very excited to see where that goes. Got the fully goodness. I'm gonna Same. Go, I'm, I'm, gonna go ahead, I'm gonna collect that all in foils. Me too. Transformers, another epic issue, awesome as hell. Insane, uh, bro. One of the best, one of the best comic issues I've read probably this year, maybe. I was gonna say I don't know. If hell, hell's awesome, but that was awesome as hell. Okay, so uh -huh. some some stuff I picked up from the con. I got this Jeremy Clark autograph crash down number one with uh, an X Men one hundred one homage. Fire! I've been uh, liking that read as well. Saturday Morning Adventures number 11, TMNT, signed by and remarked by Steve Levine. Oh, an awesome guy. Hey. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 124, remarked by Tim Lottie. This is his cover. That's I got, I got to drink a beer with him the night before the con. It was really awesome. And there's a little That's thing cool. right there he did. Cool. Exclusive TMNT Saturday Morning Adventures number 11. Only way you're supposed to get this cover is if you went to that con. See that? Oh. oh. And Ignore this, that. Is this is triple signed by Jeremy Clark, Steve Levine, and Tim Lottie. Oh, cool. It's got Metalhead on there. That's... Hmm. Interesting play. And I got an extra copy for my giveaway next week. Nice. Fire. I'm going to finish it with two slabs. This one. Oh. Yeah. The bar. This one, I had to get it for the collection, and I'll finish it with this. Ooh. And if you want to check out all the other cool bit stuff I got for the con, uh, video drops Thursday. Nice, dude. Nice. Me. Me, 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 me. Uh, like I said, man, cover cover all audiences. Uh, uh, I only showed this on Tony's stream, and that's about it. But Trev, you'll be excited. I bought an X Men book. What? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah dude. Bought an book, and I actually bought a a new a new warrior or uh, yeah, the uh, new mutants one hundred, the Liefeld cover with the purple background or whatever, and then uh, it was either new mutants or new warriors. I think it was new warriors. I'm a new new mutants, and then I. Uh, New Mutants, thank you. And then I bought X Men Adventures issue number one for uh, or season two for the animated series. But uh, you know, Jenny Frizen is going to be at Heroes Con, so I wanted to pick this up. Get her signed right across the chest, right there. And then I picked this one up as well. We'll go through these fast because, like I said, done. what this one? The, those last two are like two of my favorite ones that she's done for sure. Yeah, they're fire. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot of times if. If you notice, her eyes are kind of janky with Harley, but those yeah, a little. Movies, it doesn't mm -hmm. concentrate on the eyes, right? <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm just covering base, so uh, let me know if you haven't seen them in the chat, and I'll slow down a little bit. But uh, two days after Akira Toriyama died, I went to a con, and for the first time ever, I found Dragon Ball comics, and uh, I picked this one up, Dragon Ball Twelve. This was the coolest cover that kind of spoke to me. So uh, shout out to him, absolute. The legend of legends, man. So uh, he would des be desperately missed. Picked up this as well. First appearance of uh, Kirby the Robot. And then speaking of Halo, I had to grab a Halo comic. Don't see oh, these too yeah. often. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was happy to grab this. I got a great deal on it, too. Knocked off one of the spawn homages from my list. That Walking Dead on <laughs> and then uh, knocked off one of my goal books. Nice in the newsy as well. First print, got that, and then uh, I showed it as well. But I got it framed up now, so uh, got that monster showing in the frames. If you don't know, Walmart, these are $3.99, four bucks. Walmart is great for frames, man. So for all your prints and stuff. Uh, and then a couple more things. I'll just show it real quick. I didn't have these in uh, the cop floppies, so I picked up two, three, four, and five of Geiger. And then I do have issue number six, and then I just bought issue number one off whatnot for like five or six bucks. So I have that whole run. Uh, like I said, you may have seen this. Like I said, I just wanted to highlight it. 
phenomenal. One of the best issues I've read in a while. And then, uh, if you didn't get this, man, this is cool. It might be hard to see on cam, but up top and on the bottom, this is the Blood Hunt Diaries. This is like a behind the scenes kind of free previews, but there's like blood splatter on there. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah. There it goes. And then uh, cover of the week for me was for sure this one. Boil Ghost, Ghost Rider. Absolute phenomenal. I'm going to regret not getting that. You're going to regret not getting this, man. Even if you're not a Power Ranger. <laughs> even if you're not a Power Ranger song. Yeah, you know the song. You know the song. That is correct. So cool, cool. Let's, uh... You know, there's a... You, uh, you talk about the new news. Right, right. We, we were so happy that you got it, but nobody... I don't think any of us, anybody told you that's the first appearance of X-Force. Is it? Yes. Nice. That's a good deal. Three. I got it for three bucks, man. Like I said, I, I thought is that Domino on the cover? Yeah. Well. Cool. No. No. It, it's Vanessa. She doesn't actually show up till like issue eleven or something. Yeah, but she's on the front. The chick with the black black uh, circle painted over her face. Yeah. It's Domino. It, right? it's, it's Vanessa. It's copycat. It's Wade's girlfriend. Oh, because I said in my video when I bought, when I showed it off, I showed it off for my Monday. I was like, I think this is Domino, but roast me in the comments if you don't. So if I get roasted in the comments, that's why. But uh, let's slow it down a little bit. We got a few more minutes. So let's uh, uh, let's break the glass in case of emergency and see what new comics are coming out. And I got up in DC. I think I got yeah, I got it ready ready to go with DC. Trev, lead us off. What are you reading? World's finest. World's Six finest. Points. Yep. Both good. Yeah, I I actually just dropped Superman at issue number ten, so uh, I'm out on Superman. It was good, but uh, I'm on the absolute banger list only with the new Spawn, the new Ghost Machine. I guess I can't get rid of the ad. There we go. I just didn't have room for it, so I had to drop it. Let me know in chat as well what you guys are reading, and uh, I'm following along on my phone, so I got you guys. Soups all day, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, oh, and one week, man, it's a big week. So, see, I think I got maybe five or six yes. this week. I can get a hold of Farrell. Yeah, Farrell. Farrell comes out this week, doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't realize. Or is it next week? Do, I think it's it maybe. Hell, I don't remember. It may be next week. So yeah, yeah Wonder Woman. Cool. I heard it's really good. Uh, Justice League versus Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm not sure if this is six or seven or eight issues, but I know this is going to be Mecha Godzilla in that one. Um, issue seven see. is the last one. Okay. April special. Are you picking it up or are you passing? Pass. Well, we'll see the video. <laughs> okay. I dropped yeah, Hellblazer. We're, we're that's to... the hardest read I've ever read. Really? Yes, we're about to get into the Yeah, he's just uh, so. Uh, so, so I actually have this on order. The Dan Mora, William Shatner care cameo cover. I had that on order. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, that Wonder Woman stuff. Nice. Uh, let's see, another nice Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just a side of America. Libra Mayo. Oh, so, uh, so I'm picking this up. Uh, I have no idea what the book's about. I don't care, but it's a Daniel Warren Johnson cardstock variant. And it's just a cover B, so I got that on order. You know, I got to support my guy, BWJ, for sure. Um, let's see, go down. I know there's another cover I wanted to highlight. I'll let April, here we go. April special. Are you in on that cover? Banana scent cardstock variant? I might be Ooh, in. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I might be in. They got me with the Christmas, the uh, Santa Claus with the candy cane. <laughs> oh, you've got a 9.8 barrel on order. Nice. Ooh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, it's next week. Nice, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Mark for stealing that one in 25 for me. I tried to get it yesterday, but it, he had it pre ordered weeks ago. So, yep. Uh, that's a dope suits cover. I like that one in 50. That is fire. But I'm not uh, paying one of 50 prices on anything, so I'm sorry. 
So let's scroll back up. Let's uh, check out Margaret. What oh. publisher is Feral? Hmm? What were you saying, Trevor? I think it's it. I think it's I said the only people that can afford one of the 50s is Rob's fat stacks. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all the variants, man. I, I can't, we can't knock him for it. So let's check out, let's check out Marvel. All right. Uh, Fantastic Four, Invincible Iron Man. I'm out on all those. Moon Knight, Magneto. Uh, if you're reading those, I hope they're good. Uh, X-Men Forever, played. And then I just dropped Spider Boy. It's been good, but it's uh, it's it's for a younger audience. It's not really for me, but uh, it's a really good book, man. If like I said, if you're a younger reader, and they're doing good things with it, building his own rogues gallery. Uh, I got Web of Spider Man just because of my boy Kulo being on the art on the cover, so I snagged that one. Uh, I'm out on all those. Let's see, ooh. Oh, I'm so excited for the Star Wars Visions, bro. I don't know if you guys, uh, if you read the original one when it came out, but it was fire. So good. Uh, John says he's been buying a lot of uh, Storm Ratio variants last year, but my stop gives me great discount variants. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, it make it, he posted a bunch it? of them. Uh, huh? Did you watch Visions? Yes, I love that. Fire like that, that first that first episode, which is basically this guy. Yes, yes, so, yeah. So fucking sick. Yeah. So on the last one, they basically hinted that Mace Windu is still alive. In it, if yeah. you caught it, he has a purple lightsaber. He says he got thrown out of a window and survived. That it was lightning that struck him. So it's uh, Mace Windu. Uh, I know a lot of people will be excited for this Jangle Fett number one. I'm not in on it because it's it's not a must read. But I know Mark will be pulling that one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man facsimile. I'm out on that one. I'm grabbing cover A for a vision Is that, like I said, I'm going to show it again. That's just too fire. Absolute fire. Um, let's see. We get a lot of these Marvel masterpieces right now. I do like that. So it's not a one. That's uh, boom, Spider-Man. grabbing that. I have uh, this John Jang variant from with uh greg land yeah i got the invincible iron man on order i'm not even reading it but uh it's only a cover b so uh, if you like jang jang gang uh it should be easy to find i'm gonna pose a question greg to y'all. Land, uh i'm not a fan of these what's up i'm gonna pose a, gonna pose a quick question to y'all do you think with all these yeah, reprints that are coming out, do you think with all these reprints coming out for like the older amazing spider-man and stuff like that is it harming the older comics value or is it maybe helping it? I, would say I think a hundred percent it's not going to Yeah, I think a hundred percent it's not gonna harm it because like I said at the end of the day they're just reprints. But it's a hundred percent going to help it because there might be people that might never have even heard of uh this, like I've seen this covered before, but this amazing Spider-Man two fifty four. Mm-hmm. That's not a super, you know, grail book to a lot of people or like one of the top 10 keys. So a lot of people, if you're not a comic collector, might not have heard of it. So it's a good way to introduce people to books and issues that they might not have seen. So then they might go after, you know, the real issues. So it's good on both ends. So we're going to have a bunch of spider Boy and Django Vet variants, I'm assuming. Mar- like I said, Marvel Masterpiece still. I hate these headshot variants. I'm sorry, they're just not for me. Floating heads. I don't do them. The little corner box uh, where it had like six of them together, those weren't bad. But these that's fine. Individual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So I do like that toy variant. Yeah, we're going to get the toy. Dude, there's why so many floating head variants. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are three. All right. All right, Marvel, you lost me. I'm out on your, I'm out on your reprints, bro. Uh, let's go to image. <laughs> Uh, all pulls for me. Spawn, Cobra yep. Commander, Scorch, and The Walking Dead. Those are all pulls for me. Yep. Walking Dead 85. Haven't read a single issue. Let's go. Uh, G.I. Joe, that's another pull for me. That's fire. It's been great. I think it's something you say that every time. Every time you're like, I got this issue. I haven't read any <laughs> of the issues. Every time. I, like to, I like to make sure we all know and keep track of how many I have and how many I haven't read. Hey, <laughs> so it's, but once, once you get them all done, you got to do story time, Walking Dead edition. 
Oh god, that'd take forever. <laughs> hey, hey, there'd be plenty of content for you. Yeah. Back. Uh, Howard the Duck is that's is that Howard the Duck in something epic? Wow. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I am a fan of this Brett Booth Todd McFarlane Virgin variant. That's fire, absolute heat, bro. I'm so hyped, bro. Brett Booth on main spawn. I'm so excited for that. that. So excited. Uh, Scorch with Chasm, that's dope. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan of uh, Sin Eater, really. Uh, Cobra Commander, we're going to see, man. Issue 2 is a little, little off for me. He's uh, fighting alligators. Uh, they're kind of pulling away. Doesn't. Yeah, that's my thing, who. I'm too. I thought I I had. Who says it'll be hilarious if Durs doesn't like The Walking Dead when he eventually gets to it? I had that same thought when I was at about 30 or 40 issues, but I was like, I'm too far in. I'm way too far in now. So now we're at 85. So it's just we're way past commitment at this point. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it has to be good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of variants. Um, not reading any of those. Yeah, Cobra Commander, like I said, issue two was a little weird, man. We'll see. We'll no, see. Lot, you know, it's the, you know that's the, the, cro the Croc Master of the Dreadnoughts. You know, he, he sent his Crocs down there to capture Cobra Commander. Is that what it is? Because I'm not a G.I. Joe fan. I didn't understand the reference at the last page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So he now got, He gets captured. That's why he's kind of in chains there on the front of that a cover with uh the female dreadnought behind him i forgot her name Zorana. oh Zorana. 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 Yeah, Zorana. so yeah. so as somebody who only knows gi joe characters by looking at them like i can look at a cover and and know who the gi joe characters are other than that i know nothing about gi joe other than what i'm reading and what i'm reading really doesn't seem like a gi joe book because they're uh, like all the GI Joes, like uh, all the Co Cobra Commander and, and everything, they're all like zombies basically. So it's wild. What's up, Marcus? My guy, how you doing? Yeah, same, same. But now that now that you said that, Trev, it's definitely a lot better, and I understand it more. So that makes more sense. Because the crocodiles really threw me off, and that was the one negative I gave about it. So nice, nice. Uh, where's Feral? Feral is a, is an on image. Is, uh, is it a different D publisher? D DVH said it's next week. Like the next. Oh, it's next, next week. week. Okay, yeah. next week. Okay, okay. Let's. Uh, I just want to look at it. Let me see. There it is. I'm excited for it, man. Are you guys excited? Are you gonna pull it? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna check it out. I didn't know they were gonna do movie poster covers like uh like they did with Stray Dogs. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, but sorry, Farrell. You're not the most excited book for me that week. Sam and Twitch. Oh, well, I didn't even see that. Oh, I'm so hyped for that. So hyped for Sam and Twitch. But yeah, I want to check out, like I said, we're, I'm just going to just gonna check out these movie poster variants. So there's that one. I like that. I like that Walking Dead one. Uh, the blank cover. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Sam and Twitch has a black and white. Oh, so fire. The 20 Virgin. Oh! Oh, hang on. There, there, there is an absolute legend in chat. Uh, hang on, let me make him moderator because uh, he doesn't like to doesn't like to come onto my channel and support his old dad too much. But if you see Cameron Durr in that, that's little Durr's. That's many me. So make sure you guys give him a big warm welcome and a big love because, uh, like I said, I harp on him all the time. He needs to watch my content more. <laughs> So let's check out these feral covers. Is there more? There's got to be more. Uh, the claws are out. Night of the Night of the Feral Cats. I dig that. I don't dig that one. Oh. I don't dig the Sweeney Boo variant. <clears throat> uh, Norn Rad. Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat on my phone. Norn Rad KBDM. I appreciate you guys. I see that. Uh, man, man, these oh, feral ones wow. are dope. These are dope. That sleep, that sleepwalker one, that sh that yeah. Jaws one, the Scotty Young web yeah. store. That one sucks. It's at the web store. It's gonna be like 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> no, uh, I just harp on them, man. Uh, I tell them all the time. Uh, I go out and support you. You gotta support your old man. You know, it goes both ways. <laughs> That's dope. I like that Bird City run the jewels, like, dude. How many are there for this? I did not realize this. 
Oh, that one. Me neither. That one's the represent. Uh, Return of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. Right. Love that movie. <laughs> there is. Oh my God! There's, there's a frat now. Emmy, bro. Every freaking movie. Nightmare on Elm Street. Part That's what I'm saying, dude. It. <laughs> it. Fright Night. Uh, we got Pet Cemetery, Night on Elm Street Three. There can't be. I may there not, is more. I may not financially recover from this. <laughs> there is more. Dude, they freaking got the a stray dog a homage stray in the dog 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 homage. That's, that's the wild. Hell? I like that Gremlins. There can't be. There's more. Oh <laughs> it doesn't goodness. stop. <laughs> Good lord. Good lord. <laughs> this is wild. Uh, Hang in there, baby. I like that one. <laughs> in case. Oh, there's two more. The Exorcist? Ooh, that Exorcist one's fire. Is that the Godfather, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or Outbreak. The outbreak. I think it's oh, Outbreak. outbreak. Oh, yeah, that's, out, that's the Outbreak. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, yeah. 17, 18, 19, <laughs> 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23. This is wild. 24, 25, 26. 26 covers. Good luck, wow. completionists. I can't yeah, wait to see that cover, Scotty Poles. There's no way in hell. I can't wait. There's no way. I can't wait, dude. Shout out to Scotty. Shout out to Scotty Vaughn, but he, he loves Trish Forstner, is an amazing artist, but I know that dude is going to be pulling at least. Let's let's make a guess. Over under. I think he might have ten. I think he might have ten of them. Depends if, if on. Trish is, depends on. Trish. And that's Trish the week. Trish is gonna be on the show too. Like that's the yep. week Trish is on a show Monday. So I think, I think he's he seven to ten. We'll say conservatively ten, yeah. or conservatively seven. But I think high end ten to fifteen. So. Bobby uh, and Rich, I guess. So, so yeah. Uh, anything else you guys want to mention? Go over, talk about. Uh, I know we got Legion tonight at eight thirty. We got Black Crown tonight at uh, nine o'clock. I know K-pop was live at six. I'm not sure if she's still live. And then you got uh, Trev and Evil Mike at ten. So uh, let's just. Uh, you're just gonna get the graded cover. You need to read it. I'll probably pick up a couple of them, honestly. We'll see. ABX is ABX is kind of an outlet for me to kind of pick whatever covers I want. So uh, we'll see. I'm definitely going to try and grab a couple. The Exorcist one was dope, and a couple of those uh, Night of the Living Dead were dope. Yeah. So let's get a hold of those guys. Who? ABX. Because I went on Message. their Facebook page, and I didn't see a way to in contact. Message me. Message me after the stream. Message oh. Mark. Message, message the Comic Viking, man. Either one of us. Yeah, I'll hook you up. We got you. For sure. Okay. So, yeah, their Facebook group, uh, I leave it in the description of all my videos. That's how he's old school. So he runs everything through the Facebook group. But uh, you can just private message me or private message Legion, either one of us, or like I said, the Comic Viking. Any three of us work. So, so yeah. What's up, little dude? Hope you're having a great day, my guy. So yeah, let's uh let's shamelessly, shamelessly promote ourselves and uh let's have StreamYard. Who can choose? Jeff, you have been chosen first. What you got? Uh normal live streams to not at nine with evil Mike and Wednesday at three, open panel, community hangout. Everybody's welcome to stop by. And then this Friday I'm gonna be on Chronic Comics College at Comic Book Knowledge for Dr. Nice. Acro getting quizzed for Chrome and Colitis Foundation. Nice. So, nice. That's uh, on oh, Dr. Afro, right? Yes, sir. That'll be dope. Excited to see that. Tony, my guy, what you got? All right. Tomorrow will be an unboxing video. I don't remember if it's my comic shop or shop for comics. Tuesday, I'm going to do my shout outs video. This Thursday or Friday, I won't be doing a Tony's Comic Spotlight. I'm going to be dropping my video where i went to the nurse assemble con bring a soda bring a snack it's 28 minutes long and then oh and then next saturday is the dual 300 subscriber giveaway on my live show with dr von who we'll be giving away some cool stuff it's nice bro what time joseph is that? 
It's going to be 7 Eastern, 6 Central. Okay, 7 o'clock. Okay. And that's next no, Saturday, Saturday, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. I was I was gonna say, no, no, you're good. All I was going to say is, Joseph, you couldn't possibly have any content coming up, right? Not right <laughs> now. I got a lot to edit. I got a lot to get together. <laughs> I mean, I last, week, last week, last week, I'm pretty sure you had, you had you had like ten or twelve videos on deck. So, so that's what I'm saying. So, that's that's what I said. it's going to take me a while before the next ones are done. You know, that's what I need to do. I I film my videos like like I have a video uploading it tomorrow. I filmed it today. I'm going to upload it tonight. That's what I do because I suck at the hobby and suck at my you know career like hobby choice. So. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I need to get ahead. It'd be nice to film a week ahead. That's that's what I do for Heroes Con, bro. I film like a week, or like the whole week of content for that week, and then I'm gone, so. Yeah, man. Well, I, had one, I had one video. I don't even know if I want to post it because I, I kind of went off on a total rant on Walmart's uh, Collector Con. It post was, it. Those, those post always it get the most views. Fire mess. Yeah. Yeah, make a real capturing thumbnail and then title it like "How could you, Walmart?" A thousand views, bro, guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> either that or everybody and their brother trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, nice, nine point eight CDC Hollows Eve number one. I would love to win that. Uh, I am a big fan of her character. I thought that was good for parents, man. Yeah, for sure. You too, man. And for me, coming up, uh, like I said. ABX has kind of become my traditional Monday hauls. We saw a couple comics, but uh, like I said, I get that unboxing and uh, I've been doing kind of more longer videos. My videos were always like seven, six, you know, kind of short, quick, sweet to the point. Now I'm doing it a little bit longer. They're normally like 10 to 20 minutes. So, uh, you know, sit back, enjoy, relax. But uh, I just kind of like kicking it with you guys a little bit more and going in depth with the books I'm reading and uh, just talking about what's going on. So that's great. And then, man, like I said, dude, I, I own up to my mistakes. Story time with Durs for Geiger. Issue three was supposed to be out last Thursday. And then I said it would be out Saturday. But it's still not out because I still haven't finished editing. Those, those cat fan, I uh, shout out, bro. He does that every day. And like I said, when I do those story times, they just take hours to edit. It's, it's just a lot of pictures clipping and putting together. So that will be Wednesday. I promise you guys it will be Wednesday. I got you. And then Friday Positivity always will be rocking, you know, get that mental health game going on the weekend. And then Saturdays are always a 50-50 if you get a video or not. And then we'll be right back in it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks. That means a lot. Because like I said, uh, I, I'm it just I'm trying to connect with you guys more and just kind of share my experience. And uh, I know I know it's expensive, man. It's, it, it's expensive to read. So uh, if I can talk about a book, and uh, give you kind of a synopsis and you don't have to spend the $4.99 or $5.99 on that book and you get something else, boom, job done. So uh, like I said, man, I appreciate you dudes hanging out. Make sure you guys catch everybody else on the live stream. Your guys' time means the world. I love you. I treat everybody around here as always. Like family. Speaking of family, if you didn't see in the most recent spider Boy issue, I posted it on my Instagram. He gets in a random fight and they go into a movie theater and it's Vin Diesel on the, it's like a, it's like Fast and the Furious 27, it said, and in the background, <laughs> Vin Diesel's driving a car up a pyramid and then it cuts to another bubble where it says, I always do it for family. And it's in <laughs> side, bro. Like I said, I posted it on my Instagram. It's hilarious. But uh, it's not Christmas anymore. I don't have another outro, so uh, we're gonna leave you. We're gonna leave you with uh, one of the best experiences of my life. Appreciate you guys. Stay legendary, and as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Have a great, have a great weekend. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. How'd I do? Amazing. I was a pro Halo 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the story.